Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the B Zone educational series on <clears throat> the various aspects of Adida Samraj's teaching and demonstration of the seven stage way of Adida. And so tonight in the studio, we have Click and Clack. Clack. <laughs> Frank and Ed. And uh, tonight, we're going to speak about a concept or an idea called attention, which is, I think, is a fundamental principle and idea in the teachings of Adi Da. And um, Frank, as a reading, I think would be appropriate to start tonight's discussion on attention from the Lavanana Gita, <coughs> written in, what, 18, uh, 1986, I believe. That's correct. Uh, I said, what is to be understood is attention itself. I said, attention is self-contraction, and all objects and others, or all things, are its illusions. I said, practice of the way that I teach is the release of the motive that moves to things. I said, practice of the way that I teach is to stand free of things and to swoon in consciousness itself. I said, therefore, let attention collapse from the world, of, from the circle of things and fall to infinity in the heart current of merely being. I said, there is infinite inherent happiness there in the well of merely being. I said, the inherent happiness of merely being is countlessly brighter or more radiantly blissful than the circular worlds of fascinated separation. I said, therefore, eat attention in the heart. The word of Adida. Mm. So, and I think this is um, the most difficult idea that we've ever click and clacked over. I think this is the most difficult idea to, to yeah. understand. <clears throat> and, and he said, the way is to understand, you know, therefore I, I said, understand attention. Well, he says that's the principal means to understand the spiritual way of life, to understand attention. But, but... To me, it's, I'm confused right away when he says, uh, to put your attention on God. What do you... <laughs> Here we go. We start with, we have to start with, there's said, attention, yeah. and then there's God. Uh, right. Huh? So. And so, as he said in the latest video that was out with uh, the Don Horse Press, is that you, you sit there in front of me and your fitful attention, giving me your attention, and I got to deal with you. I got to deal with your not, your attention, your mind is basically what we're speaking about, or ego, which is really what he's speaking about. So this confusion, or what, what would be called the fourth stage era, fourth stage era, which is the separation between the individual mind, or the individual body, or the self, or the one who's appearing mm -hmm. in this form of me, and the other, which is whether it's the realizer or whatever, it's God in the form of another sense of vision, uh, of yeah, sound, uh, uh, separation. Of course, uh, but isn't it isn't attention necessary? Absolutely. Well, if it, you're supposed to let it fall or understand it or dissolves, how does that jive, as it were? <laughs> With uh, you got to you got to what you know the uh, what's the eightfold way of Pantajali, you know you got to develop concentration get yeah, your attention perfect yeah. so how does this you got to put your attention on it get your attention honed and clean and pure and all that kind of stuff how does that jive with dissolve attention or understand attention or let attention fall collapse right, right, how right. do how do those two things are they just developmental moments or is well, they are developmental moments in the traditional literature, but in the seventh stage Adida way, um, the the 
difference is you, you, aren't doing it. You, you don't submit your attention. You are attention. So tell me the difference. Well, one is the fact that it's pulling yourself up by the bootstraps mm -hmm. is the error. That somehow you think mm -hmm. <coughs> you, as this not, as this sense of mind, attention, body, whatever level of it is that is this expressing itself, that somehow you got to do something. Yeah, but isn't that what they say? You've got to get your attention clean, concentrated. Yeah, but the first, uh, first, you can't do any of this stuff until you have some sense of understanding. So we're speaking on two different kinds of planes when mm -hmm. we speak about it. One, we speak as a ego's trying to understand it. Mm -hmm. I want to comfort, I want knowledge, mm -hmm. so then therefore I can do something. Mm -hmm. And the other is the understanding that you, you, and what that you is, mm -hmm. which is fundamentally zero, nothing, mm -hmm. it is this, is that uh, you don't get to get into the space of what Arida is talking about until you have some kind of a hearing, as he calls it, some kind of an understand, self-understanding. The fruitless search for knowledge, the fruitless search for understanding, the, fruit, the fruitless search for, for spiritual experiences, which are what everybody goes for once they say, I'm, you know, smoke a joint and get high or have a revelation, have a revelation or have a dream or, or have an intuition. I mean, these are real, I mean, the, the point is uh, in, in the seven stage way of Adi Dham is that all, everything that he's addressing is always already the case. Mm -hmm. So you can't put your attention on that. You can, how can you put your attention on what is on already the case? And so what everybody's in that place. Everybody has that seven stage understanding. Everybody is in the prior understanding. But there's this. The illusion created by attention. Illusion mm -hmm. inherently is in the matrix of the cosmos. Maya. Maya. The web of Maya, is that what they call well, it? Well, Maya is usually associated with the illusion of the world, mm -hmm. or the play, the dance of Shiva, or Maya, or Shakti, or, or, or the, the images on the wall in, in, in Plato's cave, or the, the, the images that we project on the world, which are really illusions in the mind. It's all a brain phenomenon. There is a world, but there is this response to we're living in a kind of a, a dream state. As, as Ramana Maharshi says, or I used to say to the people in my classes, I said, when you go to the movies, where's the movie? And they go, well, the movie's there. Mm -hmm. And I say, where, on the screen? Mm -hmm. No, the movie's not on the screen. The movie's on some film or digitized Projector. projected mm -hmm. onto this screen mm -hmm. where the mind or your projection goes to get the light images forming all course of concepts and so it's a patterns mm -hmm. it's a complete illusionary kind of experience it's, a, mm -hmm. it's an underwater uh, dive with your eyes open, just exploring the underseas of the colors and the vibrant nature of what experience can provide. So experience then is the object of attention? Well, objects of attention can be anything from thought to, to uh, colors, uh, visions, to, to perceptions, but experience Mm -hmm. That's a broader sense of, of, of touch and feel and Context. sight mm -hmm. and hearing, the senses, but the sixth sense of, you know, time and knowledge and experience and ahs and oohs. And so where does attention fit in? Where is attention in all that? It, it's in the matrix of, the, of, of, of what he calls the grid of attention. Mm -hmm. But it's localized, and there's the difference between this 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 kind of neutral 
blah kind of speech mm -hmm. to the localization of attention. Mm -hmm. And so the first moment that you get some sense of local, it's, it's got to do with the body-mind. Mm -hmm. because The myopia of the eye. Well, saying? it comes it comes through the eye. I mean, I like I. Oh, I, me, yeah. ego. Well, then you're saying where's ego? And so, uh, so I'm I'm just still. Like I said, this attention thing's the most difficult to understand, and um, so yeah, because uh, that reading, he says I, the way or something. I exactly what he said. I call you to understand attention itself. Yes. And then, the, and then the second thing he said, I, I, I call you to understand self contraction, Correct. as if they're related. They're definitely related. <laughs> 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 it's a different emphasis to to basically he's pointing to the same thing. And so how are self and I related? Are they are they identical? Absolutely are, yes. So self and so I. Well, so, we'll talk about the small L. Small says so, self contraction. Self contraction. Self of self contraction is attention. Self is a concept. Self contraction is a sense of mm. of of tension. Mm -hmm. Attention. So, right. So tension <clears throat> is the root of attention. Attention and tension are the same thing. Mm -hmm. Now he calls the root, if you will, mm -hmm. of attention is in a is in a realm called the causal. Well, let's talk about <clears throat> the three realms and how attention um, plays in each one. Now you, you just said something along the lines of uh, or examples of how it would be in the gross. You know, so I see that I want to follow after that, whatever. And so I can understand I as attention there, but then you have I attention in subtle realms going to all kinds of groovy stuff. Thought. You know, thought, as the Greek said, thought is the lowest dimension of the subtle. So we have thought and then we have um, well, and, and, and this, cool shit above that. <laughs> we got higher mind, and we got we got universal mind, and we're still in mind. And that's still mind, and, and so then there's causal. So these are the what he calls the three ego eyes. So talk about how attention relates, or how, you know, what, seems like if we looked at attention from each of those three perspectives, there might be some. It might it might illuminate, it be illuminative. Well, you'd have to start with the body. Mm -hmm. Gross. <clears throat> the gross. Or the material plane, mm -hmm. which includes lower mind, mm -hmm. um, and the first form of ego in the in the body, so to speak, is a, is a sense of my. You you can localize it anywhere, but the 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 the, the, the most fundamental root, mm -hmm. the lock mm -hmm. of ego in the body, is sits right there. Mm -hmm. And that's what he called vital shock. Mm -hmm. So it's in this lower subconscious, un this actually unconscious place where most people don't even recognize that there is. So that lock, is, that tension in the lock, is as it were the bodily root of attention. Is the bodily root of attention. So that tension in the lock. In the, gro in the gross. In the gross. In the gross. gross. Just talking. We're just gross. Mature, gross. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Keep going. And that means that has implications. Well, then the, the, that's the primary lock, and then there's all the other locks of of the perennial, mm -hmm. you know, you, you fear, because mm -hmm. fear is the root here. Fear is the root of all locks, mm -hmm. whether it be the 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 the, 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 the gross, mm -hmm. the the subtle, mm -hmm. or the causal. Mm -hmm. All of that has its root in fear. Fear of in losing individuality because we're the whole premise of all of this is up we have separated we this is an activity this, <laughs> this isn't this, happening to us this what this sense of me the sense of separation the sense of contraction mm -hmm. the sense of identification mm -hmm. I, need, I need i need to be realized i need i, I need yeah right because there is this something else happening <clears throat> so you're saying there's self <clears throat> and Everything itself needs. Well, they is, arise spontaneously. Of course. 
as soon as I have I, boom, every, I have everything else. Well, you have self, mm -hmm. you have other, mm -hmm. and you have world. And things. So you have the Trinity. <laughs> In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You got it all. You got me, you got other, and you got world. Spontaneously occurring in that moment of ego. Self-contraction. The, the tension of self-contraction creates attention. Oh, it doesn't create. It is the same nature. thing. It's, it's the same, same thing. 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 They, okay. In the causal attention, it is, it's, it's the nature of it. That's mm -hmm. why ego can't do spiritual life. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's a, a tension trying to find what's not tension. It's the and so hand it's always reasserting. Trying to grab itself. Uh -huh. So it's always you know, what's the sound of one hand clapping? Yeah, right. It's like <laughs> <laughs> wake up, wake up. <laughs> it's it's always trying to do something. It's like trying to grab itself, mm -hmm. and that's the fruitless search. Mm -hmm. And so some people have to go out and do all that stuff and mm -hmm. f find gold and find happiness and find marriage. And find okay, well